Most people who are American born and raised have some concept of faith in the world. Most people recognize a form of Christianity or spirituality or faith that allows them to conduct their life. Most people believe in a God, whether or not they acknowledge God, no matter what they call God and how they conduct their faith. Every human being underneath the U.S. Constitution's First Amendment has a right to assemble with other people and celebrate their faith. When we police people without the lawful right to do so, we literally are saying, I'm going to violate, violate not only a international human rights charter that we have signed into as a nation and you being a citizen of that nation makes you a citizen of the world responsible for that charter and conducting yourself accordingly to that charter. It also means that your U.S. citizenship is in question because you are violating federal law. Federal law protects people's rights to move privately and freely and securely and safely through a community. When you try to bitch slap someone across the universe, it rarely works because you are fully liable for every aspect of your life that makes you a jerk. Young men in their 20s and 30s and maintenance are rarely, rarely equal to a man in his 50s who's lived a life, produced a business, had a wife, parented a child, and knows how to do things. The liars of the world panhandle. They receive pocket change from your children on a campus. They receive pocket change from a child near a store. It's not that they've given up on life completely, but they might have done that and more. It's just possible that they're not lazy, they just prefer to be outside in the sunshine. It's possible that they're not derelict in their duties to their families or their wives or their children. It's just possible that they like to do that for the thrill of the chase. You see, every different type of position in the world has a personal benefit. Typically, it's financial. And usually people like me are interested in rebuilding their lives after loss of a life partner of a long time or the loss of a child that made a difference in a life. But if you're a young man who's never found a way to find a wife or a spouse of some kind, then maybe you're just not living your life right according to the good book. Because the good, good book says that they go two by two. But two by two is not up to you. Two by two is sort of up to God. And if you're screwing around with people, if you're screwing around with women or men, and you're not thinking about how to live two by two, then you're not really thinking about your life. Because at the last stages of your life, when you're about to transition across the barrier from the living to the dead, you're going to be looking at what's important in life and the people who care for you, the people who tend you, the people who serve you, depending on what your condition is at that time, especially in the elderly years, where we learn lose a lot of functioning, a lot of strength, a lot of minds, a lot of hearts, a lot of souls, but a lot of body functioning parts are going to look at you and wonder what kind of person you are. What kind of person are you going to be when you stand before the Lord Jesus in heaven? Whether you believe in God or not, whether you're atheist or agnostic or you have a faith, you will stand before the Lord's house. Even at this moment of time where you're in the living, you stand before the Lord's house. And when you stand before the Lord's house, you know whether you're doing what is right under the God's guidance of loving others, honoring your family, and taking care of your life, or whether you're working with Satan, shitting on someone's life, stealing their property, interfering with their life, just for the thrill of being a bastard of Satan. You'll have to decide. Not at all. You see, Jesus decides you every day. And if you don't believe in God, well, that's on you. It means you didn't get the memo because most everyone has a God gene inside them that says that there is something greater, more powerful in the world. Few people recognize the Holy Ghost, which is fully, 100%, talked about in most of the faith books of the world. The morons of the world don't get that God can shove your fucking car in front of another one to teach you a lesson. 
And God can ruin your life with COVID because you thought you were superior to someone else. But we also have people that are immoral. And immoral people usually try to share their illness with other people. And that illness is, I'm doing this to him. You want to play? You want to do it too? You want to harm him? You want to cut his beard? You want to screw him? You want to cut his genitalia? You want to do all this evil stuff and get away with it? The reason that evil exists in the world is pretty straightforward, that police officers don't do their job. Jesus Christ was killed by the police of his time and other people who failed to love the Lord. If you fail to love the Lord, that's your choice and it's your foolery, your foolishness. But if you love God and you're harming people, you don't deserve to walk through those portly gates.